NBA point guard Rajon Rondo has been suspended for his game, uh, well, technically, when this clip goes up yesterday, against the Houston Rockets uh, for anti-gay slurs towards NBA referee Bill Kennedy. Now, after the slurs were repeated to Kennedy a couple days later, Bill Kennedy announced that he was homosexual. Mm -hmm. He came out uh, in an article with Yahoo Sports. And uh, to a, a great deal of support from NBA Commissioner right Adam so. Silver, from Greg Popovich, from, of course, we live in a progressive world. You guys get it. So first I want to roll the tape of the incident that happened. It was about two weeks ago. Yahoo Sports wanted to explain they were not investigating what happened, but they took their time to make sure, you know, they wanted to get the suspension right and those kind of elements of it. So let's go back to the game. It's the Kings versus the Celtics in Mexico City. I think a technical foul against perhaps Rondo. Yeah, Rondo teed up. Remember, this is a big storyline of this game. It is the he may have, he may have, uh, Cousins was upset that that foul was called on him. Rondo may be interfering for Cousins right now. And Rondo may have been ejected. Wow. Now, now Cousins is going to lead Rondo away. I think Rajon Rondo just got ejected. Uh, Kennedy and fellow referee Ben Taylor described Rondo's post ejection diatribe as including the statements, You're a motherfucking faggot. You're a fucking faggot. Billy. Now, Rondo went to Twitter. Uh, to apologize for this, and he said that he didn't mean it was the heat of the moment, there was frustration, and he didn't mean any uh, wrongdoings towards the LGBT. That doesn't ref reflect his actual feelings towards it. Granted, there's been no public apology for it yet, um, and it gets to be to an interesting breakdown. Francis, uh, there's a lot of different things to yeah. break down with this. Do you think Rondo should publicly apologize for it? Do you Absolutely. think, and do you also, and so, why, I should say? Okay, so. I mean, it's, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because we as a society have associated this word with just an insult. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always imply that that person is homosexual. It's like when you're taking words, I think Macklemore had a song out, right? Not exactly a huge fan of Macklemore, but he does speak truth to power in his lyrics. And he said something like, you see it on the YouTube comments, you see it on responding to someone, oh, you're such a faggot. It means just like, you're not exactly meaning that person is homosexual in that moment. You're just using it as an insult, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous and we need we as a society need to stamp it out it's plagued our everyday use of the word and it and this is a perfect example of when you use that word and he's probably used it not knowing that it does have harmful association to the person he's directed to because that person is homosexual so how do you how do you differentiate between this it's simple you just don't use that word as an insult we stamp it out it's the same thing as when you're associating anything with any race or ethnicity when you use that word even if you're using it towards someone else it still has negative connotations and that word used in that surrounding it's it's now it's actually an, a clear example which may help the situation where it's like okay you used it not thinking about it but it did directly affect the person you were using it towards yeah of course and so I agree with that, 100%. We should stamp it out. I, using uh, being candid here, I used it a, a million and a half times in high school. And yeah, of course. In college, it just became part of the vernacular of of our, my growing up, of, of your growing like, up. Absolutely. And it, and it doesn't have the direct meaning as to being offensive towards someone of that uh, sexual orientation. So, in the past, two players have been fined for this but not suspended. So I thought the NBA took the right step in suspending him. Now, Reggie Miller went on Dan Patrick this morning and said suspend them for five to ten games. I think that's ludicrous. That's a ridiculous amount of time, and there's also a ridiculous amount of money in terms of, you know, him saying, using words, sticks and stones, words can't hurt you, mm -hmm. all that stuff, right? So in the past, Joe Kim Noah, $50,000 fine in the 2011 playoffs, recalling ref that, and Lakers' Kobe Bryant, $100,000 that same year towards the same ref that same year. Not Bill Kennedy, though. Yeah. Different ref. Rondo was suspended yesterday, and as part of his contract for $9.5 million, I don't know if people know this, but when you get suspended, you're suspended without pay. Oh. So his contract is $9.5 million. That breaks down after everything is said and done to $86,000. Yeah. So a suspension is in itself a fine, but then you and also, you can't play, yeah. and he was the best thing that's going saying, for the Kings. He leads the league in assists. The, the Kings, I, I, started, I was really enjoying watching the Kings this year. I do like mm -hmm. watching... Uh, 
Boogie, Cousins performing. Boogie Cousins. And then when you when you see Rajan Rondo, as we all remember him from his glory years at the Celtics, he was performing very well. And I think that assisting such a high assist record, and he, the things weren't weren't moving fantastically forward for the Kings, but it looked like they were starting to come into fruition towards the end there. And I think that it was annoying for them to see their obviously their star point guard at the moment be ejected for something that can easily be controlled. Uh, but I have been in situations where people have been very abusive and aggressive with that word. Like pointing straight at someone, calling it straight. It's just to emphasize the insult to the name. And that's what I'm well, saying is like, whether or not he has directly insulted him in full awareness of his sexuality or right, not. Right, that, that's the, the important, word is that's, still, that's the most important part is, is that he came out after this incident happened, about a week and a half after. Granted, uh, there's an interview with Doc Rivers. There's an interview with other people. Uh, I'm sorry, Tim Donahue, the referee who shaved points in the 2002 Kings versus Lakers game. Um, infamous referee. Let that slip. Mm -hmm. He said in an interview in 2010 that he goes, everyone knows that Bill Kennedy is homosexual. The league knows that he's homosexual. It's not a, it's not a well-kept secret. Mm. But it didn't come to light. There was no mass headline, Bill Kennedy is a homosexual. Bill Kennedy is coming out as an NBA ref. He decided to come out on his own terms. Bill Kennedy had this to say uh, to Yahoo Sports after this whole ordeal was said and done. I'm proud to be an NBA referee and I'm proud to be a gay man. I am following in the footsteps of others who have self-identified in the hopes that will send a message to young men and women in sports that you must allow no one to make you feel ashamed of who you are. You, you never really know what that person's going to take an insult to. Like, yeah. everyone insults someone in some way, but if you use a word that is, uh, it's, uh, it, it holds such a negative connotation and, uh, and it describes a form of sexuality which is no means to be considered an insult, if you use it and direct it towards someone, this can and will happen. So you'll, it, you might not think it's going to hold that much weight against someone, but in this situation, it clearly does, and it's affected this referee. And actions have to be taken to make sure that that doesn't apply. And they were, in by the way, and they were. He was yeah. suspended for a game. He is serving his punishment. It's done. It's done. We move on. That's it. That's all that should come of it. There shouldn't be another fucking two weeks of discussion, by all the right. way. Let That's us know it. what you guys think. Comments. Comment section below. Do you think that the suspension was worthy? Do you think that he deserves to be suspended for more games? What do you think about the Jason's point on the public apology? Let us all know in the comment section below. Thanks for Jacory chiming in over there. Our studio guys, I like to call him, and then uh, can't insult him that way. But Our Academy Award winning director. Our Academy Award winning director. Make sure to come back to TIT Sports and subscribe.